Well, hello everybody. Welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. It is that time again for a cigar moment. So I was out and about and uh, filming my cigar moment earlier with my GoPro. I uh, made a huge mistake and uh, the recording or the sound, the audio did not record. Uh, so I was kind of bummed, but uh, I'll show you the scenery anyways. Uh, and now the weather's turned and seems like it's gonna be raining here in a few hours. Uh, but I wanna enjoy a cigar before that happens. So today I'm gonna smoke this Romeo y Julieta Verona. Romeo y Julieta Verona cigar and uh, let's see uh, it's House of Verona Robusto see how she tastes as always welcome to my channel and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing hitting the notification bell so you know every time I upload a video I've also finished my website and uh, been writing a few blogs in there so if you want to check it out stylishgreasemonkey.com so anyways beautiful cigar it's a Robusto smells good it's got this wrapper on it um, as I was thinking about what we're gonna talk about today or what I'm gonna talk to you about today as you know I just don't review cigars here because I am not the expert in any of this stuff I'm still uh, after years of smoking cigars I enjoy it and I'm still learning how to, uh, or learning how the etiquette is. So I got curious and went, went and looked at the etiquette for uh, smoking cigars and it led me to um, a post, I think it's on Lifestyle uh, post that talked about Zeno Davidoff. Back in 1967, he wrote an essay, pretty much an etiquette on how to smoke cigars. And I got curious, right? I wanted to kind of see what on the etiquette I'm following, what I've learned all through the years, and what on the etiquette I'm disobeying. So I was pleasantly surprised that I was actually uh, disobeying a lot of things on there. So. I want to share that with you. I want to share the uh, the etiquette with you. I wrote it down, and uh, and then we're gonna talk about it. So, Romeo Romeo y Julieta Verona, Medallas Oro. Uh, smells good. I love robusto cigars, so this is uh, medium to dark wrapper, and uh, I think she's gonna taste really good. So while I'm going through the, the rules here, I'm gonna go ahead and light my cigar. Um, so real quick, right? You know, the, the, the rules that was uh, written back in the day in 1967 still applies a lot to what we do with cigars today. And some of it, like I said, I follow, and some of it I definitely uh, disobeyed. So, in the beginning, so the do's of of uh, lighting cigars, and I was pleasantly surprised, right? So the do, and I do it all the time, you know, hold the cigar with your thumb and your index finger like this. That's one of the do's, or like this, right? Uh, and it says, to warm the foot lightly and don't touch it uh, with the flame when you're lighting it. Um, obviously I've disobeyed that and but I do toast my cigar so what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go follow you know as you can see I'm not touching it with the flame and it's it's just the heat alone is is kind of toasting it and I think that's what they want us to do. So one of the do's is that uh, toast it enough and then puff lightly once it's, it's uh, lit. So never touch the flame 
to the cigar itself. So I can tell that it is so puff lightly is one of the do's. We'll see. We'll go from there. So continue on with the uh, the do's that was written by Zeno Davidoff back in the days. And it says in there, remove the band carefully after lighting it. Um, I don't do that. And the reason why I don't is because, and I've actually looked at some of the pictures of Zeno Davidoff. He doesn't remove the band. Uh, I think what they meant by that is the bigger bands that gets on the way of the cigar to remove it. Uh, the reason why I don't, I don't is because I'm, I think this band keeps it all together. You know what I mean? So, it says, take your time smoking it. One puff per minute. I found that I love to at least do about four to five puffs, depending on the cigar. And... Uh, I don't really kind of time myself, uh, but I guess, you know, smoking cigar, and I've always said it before in other, my other videos that just take your time. It takes a lot of time and relaxing to smoke a cigar. So with that pace, I'm pretty sure that it'll take you about an hour to smoke one of these. Do hold the cigar between your index finger and your thumb. So like this, and I'll go over the don'ts here on what the wrong things that I've done with holding cigars like this. Continue on with the do's. It says, let the cigar die a dignified death halfway through the cigar. So. The proper way, the proper etiquette for smoking a cigar is to let it burn. Good cigars will burn. Sometimes if you're taking too much time, obviously, uh, the burn will go out and there's a way to light it. Uh, but cigars will just die off about halfway through because you're not supposed to smoke the cigar all the way through, which is another thing that I've done so many times that are wrong. So, again, I'll go over the don'ts as well. So, let the cigar die a dignified death about halfway through. It says, do dispose of dead cigars carefully and quickly and discreetly as well. I guess it's just being part of it, being a gentleman, right? You don't want to leave your cigar laying around for everybody to see. Uh, this is not a cigarette. This is more of a, a passion than a hobby, right? So you want to do it right. Toward the tail end of the, of the rules, he talks about that we should allow people to allow people to think that cigar aficionados are discreet people are very professional people and clean so it says do wait at least 15 minutes do wait at least 15 minutes before you smoke another cigar anything less than that is an obsession and anything less than that is like smoking a cigarette. You know what I mean? Uh, people smoke cigar because they love smoking cigars. And this is all natural leaf, obviously. Uh, so there shouldn't be anything in here that can make you obsessive or addicted. Uh, but if you do want to smoke another one shortly after, then wait at least 15 minutes minimum. Most people 
and the owner of the Davidoff London um, talked about this on one of the videos that I saw is that they smoke every after a meal like after breakfast they have a cigar and then after lunch and sometimes after dinner So that's pretty much the do's on smoking cigars according to the etiquette. Now I'm going to go over the don'ts because, and talk a little bit about, like I said, some of the don'ts that I've done in the past and I did not know, right? I've kind of learned from watching people, um, but with continuous education then you kind of learn how to hold it, how to smoke it, how not to get sick obviously when you're when you're how not to get sick and nauseous when you're smoking a cigar. Before we go to the don'ts, just a little bit about this Romeo y Julieta Verona. It burns really, really well. And it tastes really, really good. I love it. Uh, it's very peppery, but uh, I did not expect anything less than, than a Romeo y Julieta. Good cigars. So the don'ts etiquette that's written by Zeno Davidoff back in 1967. So don'ts, if you don't mind me getting a little bit closer so I can read this to you. So don't use a pen, pen knife or lance to cut or pierce the cigar, the end of the cigar. Obviously in today's world, we uh, cutters are cheap. You can buy it anywhere, you can order it from anywhere, and you can do this right by cutting it with a cutter. Or a piercer. Don't touch the flame directly to the foot of the cigar when you're lighting it. That's one mistake i done in the past. I'll try to be a little bit more conscious when I'm lighting a cigar to make sure that I don't touch the foot with the flame. As you saw earlier, I, I was just using the heat of the flame to um, toast and light the bottom of the cigar without puffing it, and it did itself. It says in here, don't ask someone to light a cigar for you, or don't ask someone for a light. Again, this is not a cigarette, and you can't just kind of bum around, uh, you know, um, it's very, I think it's considered unprofessional and out of etiquette if you're asking for a light from someone. Uh, what I've done in the past is that if I have someone smoking with me, I would light it for them, you know, by just lighting the end tip and then giving it to them. I've seen it done that way as well. Or just bring your own lighter. Lighters are cheap and you can um, uh, use lighter or uh, box matches and things like that, right? Depends on what you prefer, but avoid asking people for a light. It says don't light the cigar too quickly or too slowly, just enough. Lighting a cigar should be a process, an individual process, and you know, you should find the right timing and the right way to do this. Again, cigar smoking is a passion and you should learn how to do that. I'm probably breaking the rules right now, by the way, by puffing it every 30 seconds because I get excited and I, kinda, I can't wait to taste the next puff of the cigar. So I'm going to take a little bit of time here to uh, make sure that I do this right. Another don't, relight the cigar if it, let, if it is less than a quarter of a leaf left. And then I'm going to the next one, don't light the cigar by putting it in your mouth and lighting the cigar. So the proper way of relighting a cigar if the, uh, if the fire goes out is to clean the ashes, totally clean the ashes at the end of the cigar and then uh, holding the cigar using the heat of the lighter 
and by and by turning it with your fingers until you can get the light and then uh, puff it very slowly. Love this, guys. It says, don't smoke cigars too quickly. Don't get the end of the cigar wet. Um, the, the latter is it's kind of hard not to get the end of the cigar wet. Uh, but I think what they mean by that is don't slobber on it, don't lick it, and don't make it too obvious. Another don't in here is to put the cigar between your teeth, and which I have not done. Another don't which I have not seen used before, is to use a holder to hold the cigar, like, you know, a cigarette. You know, back in the days, I guess there's holders. Also, don't use, don't stick a toothpick or wood in here to hold the cigar in your mouth. Another one of the don'ts that I don't see happening anymore. It says, don't dunk the cigar in port or brandy. I guess uh, Winston Churchill did that, and maybe a few uh, cigar fiction others do still do it, but I don't do that. It says, don't smoke a cigar while working, or don't smoke a cigar while walking. Definitely, both of those have violated in the past, so I think there's nothing wrong with that. You know, I love to take a stroll and uh, smoke a cigar. I think the reason why they didn't do that in the past, and even probably in some of the cities like California you can't walk and smoke anyways so uh, I guess I'm fortunate in some of the areas I live that there's not a lot of people around uh, just to be considerate to others don't walk or don't work and smoke cigar at the same time it says don't smoke the cigar more than half of the cigar don't smoke it more than half the life of the cigar should be smoked halfway and then let it die dignified death uh, and then dispose of it discreetly. I can tell you that these cigars aren't cheap anymore. Some cigars can cost money and if I'm really into a cigar and I'm really relaxing, I smoke it all the way until it's gone, guys, sometimes. And I hate to say that, but that's probably one of the rules that I will continue to violate. It says, don't hold the cigar between your index finger and your middle finger. And what they mean by that is this, right? That's one of the don'ts. And I'm guilty of doing that sometimes. So I will just continue to hold it this way. This is the proper way of holding a cigar. Lastly, don't ch chain smoke and don't put out your cigar by crushing it in the ashtray. I guess going to the do's, let the cigar die a dignified death and then dispose of it discreetly and quickly. Um, those are the do's and don'ts that Zeno Davidoff wrote in 1967. A lot of those rules still apply to us today. Uh, most cigar aficionados are professionals, gentlemen. I've actually seen women as well getting into cigars now there's a uh, there's a uh, a woman uh, a lady that's really really good uh, on reviews with cigars and very popular uh, online uh, that, that sometimes I watch right I think her name is the cigar vixen so anyway those are do's and don'ts I figured I'd share it with you because I was interested after I read the article uh, of how, how, how many of those rules that I violate and as you know that I do as well. So hopefully you learn from that and hopefully, hopefully you like this video. If you do, please don't forget to like it and share it. Again, visit my website. I'm going to also write a blog post about this uh, along with the video. So till next time, stay healthy. I'll talk to you later. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the cigar.